All right, guys, I got the day off tomorrow. That's right. I'm taking, I'm actually taking two days off. It's Monday. Feels like I'm only, I'm taking the whole entire week off, but look at what I just picked up. This is a TLX. So th this isn't a real truck in real life. I'm just going to say that off the bat. But if you're, if you guys are on consoles, everybody on consoles that watch my videos always ask, Spencer, can I play with your mods? Can I, can I, like, where do I get the mods? Well, it's going to be linked in the description. This is a, I guess you can say a cross platform or all platforms, PC, Xbox, PS4, all that stuff. You can play with this mod you can't play with this trailer but you can play with the mod the camper a few other things it's the tlx 2020 and i got her fitted up she looks good i love the olive green a lot of people say it looks like just a garbage color but honestly i think they look pretty good especially with like all the black accents and then there's the awning up there and stuff i'm gonna unfold this show you guys what we're working with we're just about to wrap up at the dealership i worked all day then i got tomorrow and the next day off i'm going camping with this uh with this setup and then we're actually gonna bring i'm gonna load up a brand new k&m four seater of course we're taking the green one to match the setup all the other campers are gonna be like holy cow who's this guy gonna be perfect let's go uh, yeah let's unfold this here in the middle here like i said the dealership's closing we worked all day and now we're gonna party all night no i'm kidding it's gonna take me a really long time to drive out to the campsite but before we get loaded up like i said i want to open the awning and i actually struggled to figure this out but here's how you do it first what you got to do is you got to detach from it and then you can actually jump out come to the back here jump in by and now i'm inside here and then you can i'm still inside but you can look around and then you press N to open cover. And there we go. My tent's getting popped up. I got an awning. Oh gosh, that's sick. And also I can open the door. I got a light. That is, uh, that's pretty clean. We have fuel tanks on the side and then we, you can actually fill this up with water too. And you, you got your portable shower up there. So doesn't get much nicer than this. There's also trailers and different things that come with this mod. There's the, obviously you need the truck and then you need the camp it pack so that's what you guys need to get i'll link it in the description let's get uh reattach close everything up close down the tent and get the uh get the four seater on the trailer so there we go we got this is a dually too so probably not the best for off-roading just because duallys don't uh don't dig as good but we have some crazy mud terrain on there like bead lockers but also she can tow then we got airbags back here so we can always raise and level the load yeah, I can lower her down, then I can raise her back up. I like it to be nice and level, but once we put the once we put the razor on here, it should level out once we get a little dip in the front. All right, here we go. Let's put her up on here. Very good. Love the built-in ramps, and we're good. <laughs> this thing is, uh, it's almost as long as my, it's just a little single cab, so the four-seater might be almost as long as the truck, which is kind of funny, but there we go guys we're off i'm gonna try and get there before dark set up camp but if not i have lights i brought some uh some big lights that i can hook up to the generator it'll all be good so let's get going enough pitter patter let's get at her all right we made it here in pretty good time actually i did have to stop fill up with fuel once and and take a pee break then get a snack but honestly i was probably going a little too fast i didn't want to get out here when the sun was going down too much because like in the forest the sun, the sun goes down quite a bit quicker than when you're just in a farm field so it's already it, it's already pretty dark back through these trees let's go come on dooley let's see what she can do boys here we go we got four by four in she's locked come on big cat we got the camper on top trailer we're gated speed baby the diesel i don't know what kind of diesel's in there but she hauls there we go we got dual exhaust which turn is it again all right we got a head right here but i got quite a bit of light so if it does get dark when we're when we're setting up it won't hopefully it's not too big a deal hopefully i can see what i'm doing but it's first time ever setting up with the uh with this setup so it shouldn't shouldn't be super easy we'll just have to find out but check it out i'll show you guys my light setup so i got just the glow or the the under the halos i guess you want to call them and then the head beams and then even more on the grill and then i got the le the light bar up top which is pretty sick there we go it's kind of rough here good thing i brought the off-road trailer the suspension's amazing the clearance and yeah there is off-road camper package it's dual axle it's a beast too you can actually put like chains on it it's crazy so technically everybody can go camping in farms from now whether you're on pc or not holy biscuits okay it's actually starting to get pretty dark we're on a rock let me turn my lights on here there we go okay i maybe swung we got to get over another rock here there we go up and over didn't scrape all right, this is where I got to be careful. I can't hit. The, okay, I, I, I might have hit the trailer a little bit, but you can't win them all. 
there we go. Okay, I think we're we're through the clear. I just gotta find a good camping spot. And honestly, I I think this is probably the best spot right over here. That way I'm still in the woods. I don't want to be just like not in a good spot. I am kind of off by the trail too. All right, there's a good spot right next to this piece of wood here. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead. Let's get the razor off because I gotta undo the trailer to make sure I get like the camper level and to get like all the awning out. So let's pull this around. There we go, get her unloaded. Perfect. I'll just leave the lights on because it's it's starting to get pretty dark. That way I can kind of use those lights to work. There we go, okay. Trailer's disconnected. And then where exactly, uh, what? this is probably a pretty good level spot right here. Oh, I guess we have the awning. We gotta watch out for that. I think we'll do it right here. So I gotta disconnect right there. We go. Then we can jump up Go ahead open the door and then open the awning. Yes, let's go And then there should be a pretty good light. There we go. That's pretty sick. She looks good I even I even turned the wheels to make uh, I wouldn't take an Instagram picture But I think I'll have to take it in the morning here. So I'm gonna go get uh, looks like there's a lot of dead wood around here It hasn't rained too much. So nothing should be too wet. Go ahead. Turn the truck off. So there we go. There she is. She's looking good. I got all the stakes in real tight. Everything should stay just fine. What's nice about it is we have the tailgate. Then you can just step and then walk right in and you're in. I got my shower and then that's my bed right there. But I can also go up top too. You can crawl through that little like manhole. So there she is. All right. I need to get some fire. You know what? It's probably getting pretty dark. I, I might not. Uh, I got some stuff in the cooler that I can just eat real quick. I don't need to cook anything. So I'm just going to do that. Then I'm going to go to bed. All right, that was good. Wash my hands. Had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, granola bar, water, and an apple. So I know that kind of sounds like lunch, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're camping. All right, so here's the awning. It's 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 kind of small, but like once you lay down, it it totally feels fine. I got my little window to look out, make sure no bears come up. Can look out both sides, and there we go. Let me turn the night light off. Good night, guys. Ooh, ah, mmm. Slept good last night. I think I woke up maybe once to some maybe coyotes in the woods or something fighting. There we go. Sun's coming up. Gonna get some coffee going. Get the fire going. He got a uh, maybe may make like a little omelet. Okay, maybe the omelet's a little too much, but at least some scrambled eggs, some sausage. There we go. We got our made. See, we don't need a fire. We got propane there, and then we get work our little grill. So that was good. We made eggs, sausage, and I actually had a slice of bacon too. I didn't. I didn't. The wife packed it for me in the cooler, and that was uh, that was a little surprise. So. Here we go. I cleaned up my campsite a little bit, so if anybody comes around here, it's not, uh, I had a few pieces of trash that fell out the other day, but it looks cool. Now the sun's up. I'm going to go ahead and take an Instagram picture. That's perfect right there. We're like in the brush. That's the cool part. We aren't just on like a gravel lot. We're actually, we're doing it. We're camping. There we go. That's it. That's the picture. Framer. But I got the Can-Am warming up here this morning. There's a little bit of dew on the grass. We're going to go rip around, see, see if there's anybody else out here, see if there's some cool mud in that I can do. Yeah, I'm looking to get in some mud, maybe a few jumps, some trail riding. Here we go. So we're here's the trail that we we're on. Let's kind of see where it takes me. I'm not too sure. We might go into the woods. I don't want to. I guess I don't. If I find any other campers, it's it's about 7:30. They should be up. I was gonna say I don't want to wake anybody up, but it's kind of hard not to. I mean, I'm gonna take advantage of the trails. There we go. We hit some mud back there. It's not too wet, and we're going downhill. Okay, better go slow here. It's actually still kind of dark in the woods here. There we go. Here's some open spots. Here's some good trail ripping, getting pretty fast here. But, but I got to make sure I don't come around the corner and somebody's coming by. But there must be some old logging trails that they turned into uh, turned into just riding trails. I think you can take a vehicle back here, not just like, a, like an OHV or like an ATV. All right. Here's a massive hill climb. It looks like the one we came up yesterday. But I think... Yeah, it's not the same one because we are nowhere nowhere near that. Here we go. Let's hit this sucker. All right, full speed. All right, watch out. I'm actually spinning out here. Don't want to hit a tree or anything. There we go. Keep going. Watch out. It's getting bumpy. All right, here's the top. That was, oh my goodness. That was not bad at all. The four-seater did good in my opinion. She's honestly a little too fast for me. At the dealership, I put a turbo in it right in stock. So we got that done. And this is one of our demo units, so that's kind of why I'm able to take it out. It's not a brand new unit. It's about one year old, so it's got... It's got over 200 hours. There we go. Then here's back to our truck. So I'm going to have some lunch here. I kind of had a small breakfast, sat around, watched the sunrise. One thing I, 
I I didn't find anybody else camping out here. I like to usually meet new people and we go ripping. Everybody brings either like a dirt bike, a lot of dirt bikers around here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was really fun camping. It worked out good. I uh, didn't have any problems. Didn't get stuck or nothing. The truck did good. The duels, the whole nine yards. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash like button, and I'll see you in the next one.